Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, a fantasy harvest moon. In the last episode, we got access to all the crafting, and it's amazing and great. Well, most of the crafting. We don't have most of the cooking yet, but the rest of the stuff is all ours. And, in the process, we got a gold hammer, and a lion water pot, and the mountain axe, uh, the seasoned hoe, the quality sickle, all those awesome things. And, every day, our cane gets stronger and stronger. Now, at level 6, Friendship, he has 210 HP. He has almost as much as I do, and he's a lot stronger than I am. So, I'm actually gonna... I'm actually gonna not take Kane with me yet. Okay. I want a bargain. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sold out of bargains today. So, Tuesday, Thursday, they don't have bargains, and that that's fine. I want to go shopping. Now, um, where is it? Cabbage cakes. It is UA's birthday today, and as such, cabbage cakes shall be given. Also, I did a bit of grinding last night before it hit 1am, and I got two sparkle string, which I will show exactly where to get right here. Now, cabbage cakes! That looks delicious. Actually, it's my birthday today, but I never thought I'd get a present like this. Wow, I'm so happy! Yes. I'm glad you're happy. I'm gonna start trying to get people's affection up fairly quickly, give them their favorite gifts every day, that kind of thing, but you've seen most people. What we're gonna be focusing on is the kids from here on out. It's gonna be talking to people, doing events, doing all the different quests, and having a great old time. Now, Platinum can be purchased for 8800 a piece. We have 331000 I'll be buying three of these. I want the Platinum Hammer immediately to get the best chance of getting more Platinum to work with here. There we go. This is going to be a very expensive hammer, but I figure it's worth it. Teleportation! I love the fact that this is open from 6 a.m., it's great. It's always open, all the time. Public facility and all that. Okay. Now, after spending a crap ton of money, we have a 55% chance of doing this. So, we need to start with our golden hammer. Oh, I don't have the gold. I put it away. Oops. Okay, so you start with the golden hammer, then you do one gold, and then three platinum, and one sparkle string. You have a 55% chance. Failure. I said we have a 55% chance. I said... There we go, the platinum hammer. The best hammer in the game. This thing. Reinforced with platinum. Now ultra tough, it can break massive rocks as well as be used to flatten land. It has 14 attack, but that's not really what it's for. It's for gathering the best materials in the game. So we're going to be getting the best stuff from here on out. Um, I'm going to be trying to get more platinum, hopefully, to upgrade the rest of my stuff and power grind my forging level, but we'll see. All depends on what the game wants to give us. So, actually, I, wrote, I should show off real quick. I am currently at level 12, forging level 18 accessories. So I've been looking in here, and I've been trying to decide what I wanted to make. I have a 19% chance of making this, which I need magic powder for. Give me one second to figure out where magic powder can be found. Okay. A place that we need to go anyway, so nice. Okay, Padova, a place that's very dangerous for us, but we get a cutscene anyway. Are ya? Hey, you guys. Yo, yo, are ya? So you finally made it all the way here. Too many people on screen. It's really cold here, are ya? I'm cold. Do you think it's safe for you to go here, Arya? Yeah, I'll be fine. You could perish if you're not well prepared, Arya. 
So, have you found any clues about your father yet? No, not yet, but I get the feeling that the stone tablets I've been hunting for somehow connected my father. Oh, really? The monsters here are really powerful. Watch your back. Be careful, Arya. If you ever need anything, the Saint... The Saint... Do the Saint Coquille family is here to help you in any way. Be careful not to get hurt. Yeah, don't get hurt. Thanks, everyone. Be careful, Arya. I always am. So, these happen in order. Not based on how many bosses you've beaten or anything, which it probably should. But whatever. I get the feeling something has been here, but it's gone right now. I think I'll go look in another cave. So I came here right now because this is actually the boss area. What does it say? Defeat four Tundras at Padova's Mountain Shrine. Tundras? So... I want to see what the requirement was to pass that. Well, we still can without being the boss. Uh, because I definitely am not strong enough to beat the boss yet. I haven't even taken on the second one and... I'm not 100% positive on that one. Walked off cave? Wait. Flowing river. Got it. So... Walked off cave is there. So the shrine should be in the bottom right corner, I think. Oh. Ow. Iceberg midway. Oh. Oof. The icy path. Unfrozen lake. Now up here. The tomb. Which I have been here before, I just didn't save. The narrow path. So the narrow path leads around that way. So supposedly this is one of the places where I can get platinum. Starting off with gold, not bad. Iron. Gold. I don't think charging your weapon does give you better odds, but I can give it a shot. Okay. I have no interest in you guys right now. I think they drop little crystals, which are incredibly helpful and necessary. But I also may be thinking of a different enemy. The shrine. Perfect. These are the enemies. So these guys are going to be a huge pain in our rear end. Oh, no. I was hoping the fire magic would help me there. Oh. Actually, I am doing damage, and they have paralysis. That's unfortunate. So we did defeat one. I need a heal, though. I don't have any potions left. Wow. This is why it's not a good idea to do what I do. I just lost all the progress I've done, so time to remake my hammer and all that. We'll take care of mining up there later, but I was looking at the list and I found another spot this time in Machina Valley that I might be able to get that. And I don't remember the names of a lot of the areas here perfectly. But, ow, oh, ow. What does this say? Defeat three buffalo. I think it might have been in there, so I can't do this currently. Purely because I don't want to do all the quests here. The holy statue? No. Let me guess. Sow crops in all the fields at Machina Valley Holy Statue. Remember, they must be fully grown. Any kind of crop will do. All the fields? Isn't that a lot? I'm gonna let you take care of that currently.
Done. Clearing time. So, as a reminder, Machina Valley is a full crop dungeon. Because of that, you just have to use logic. What grows faster in the fall? Spinach? Spinach. Spinach, I think, takes three days or something. Skill up. That's what I'm talking about. That's a nice upgrade. Goes blue, purple, orange, gold. To instantly destroy it. Alright, season toe. Farming is so much faster now. I'll have to remember to come back here. And actually plant and finish watering. Oh, actually, there's a little water thing here. Perfect. But I figure if we take care of this, we won't have to take care of it later, and it'll save us days. Skill up. With no sound. Oh, nice. Proof of Warrior. Give it a shot. Yeah, level 3 iron from a fully charged one probably means n nothing. Well, these are actually completely unharmed. I love that. Now, if we head down here, which we've never been, I don't think. Ooh, those are big boys. We get a bunch of grape trees and buffalo. I believe you can mount the buffalo somewhere how you can do the wolf it's just not as fast or something I don't remember I prefer my cane how dare you perish all right it's Tuesday which means it's a weekday which means time to learn new recipes Yes, I get you love pizza. That's all you talk about. And yes, I get that people think you're a girl, but that's all you talk about. Morning. And I get that you're aloof, but that's all you talk about. All right. Let's begin the class. Making pendants. We're dealing with pendant recipes today. We'll start with just a basic pendant. Our first ingredient is silver. We'll need another silver next. Use another silver to make the pendant itself. Almost done. Now make the necklace with sparkle string. Decorate the necklace with silver too. Connect the necklace and pendant together with some iron. All done. Next is a heart pendant. It's popular because of its cute shape. First, you need a regular pendant. Then, add an aquamarine. Next, add a ruby. Then, add an amethyst. Finally, use a bird wing to complete it. Next comes a star pendant. It has a really beautiful shape. First, you need a regular pendant. Next comes a little crystal. Work it into the shape of a star. Then add a broken box. That's a hard to get item. Finally, attach a hammer piece to it and you're done. Did you understand? Yes, I did. I didn't mean to... Uh... Yep, sure enough. The pendant one is done because I did it from top to bottom. Still incredibly dumb. <laughs> Alright, let's do amethyst items. Today's lesson is for accessories that use an amethyst. The first is an amethyst ring. First, use gold to make the ring section. After that, use another piece of gold to make the base for the amethyst. Finally, place an amethyst on the ring and you're finished. Up next is Amethyst Brooch. S. Uh, uh, uh. 
Uh, gold. <laughs> the second ingredient is also gold. Use it for decoration. <laughs> Next, add one more piece of gold. Finally, place an amethyst on the brooch and you're finished. Gotta love that. <laughs> okay. Hey mom, here's a gift. I know you do. I'm your daughter, after all. So the pendants are pretty high level stuff currently. We could make a regular old pendant, though. Uh, it would take the sparkle string that we got, but that might be a good item to grind with, so yeah. I'll do this real quick. It takes four silver. Do I have more silver in here or am I out? I'm actually out of silver. Huh. That's not good. Never mind, I won't be doing that, because I don't even have any silver. Stopping by the shop here. I want to buy something. We need a stack of green grass. Like I said, not very expensive. As well as blue grass. As well as medicinal herbs. We're gonna start a little bit of medicine making today. Uh, you can buy most of the ingredients that you need here for varying prices. So, the black grass is something you probably want to collect yourself because it's three times the price. But most of them are only 30. Except for antidotal herbs and all that, but, you know, who cares. Okay. Five days, I'm sorry, not three. Huh. No. Just do the easy one. There it is. Moon drops. So, in some of the Rune Factory games, when you're crafting, the thing that stops you from crafting is that you don't have enough RP. And that's a problem. You know, without RP, you can't do it. You can't just use health. In this one, I believe you can use health. So, we're going to start with a recovery potion. Because this is kind of a way to have infinite energy when doing this, so long as you're willing to spend money or just gather the resources for it. So we're going to need one medicinal herb and one green grass. We have a 55% success rate. And we succeed. That is the first item we've made thus far, and we're halfway to our next level. Now, you actually want to start with healing potions and mystery potions as soon as possible, but based on those levels, you're not going to be doing that for a little bit. The healing potion will be your main thing for a while, as it's extremely easy to get all the stuff for. You can start gathering honey in the meantime, so you can start making mystery potions for boss battles and things. But healing potion will be your lifeblood once you can start making it. Success. Level up. Recovery potion. So, let's use up one of these immediately. And the, for the sake of grinding this, just use up another as well. So you could just start chugging these, and you could just keep doing it, using up HP after you run out of RP, and you can just keep going. Or you could start grinding up, let's say, forging, or something. And anytime you start using up your HP, then you just pop one of these, then you make another one, and do that. All options, all valid. Let's see what we have materials to make real quick. Yeah, let's take care of my responsibilities for now. Okay. Over here on our farm, we're going to be growing this moon drop. So I'm not sure if I pointed out, but um, 
I can hold 120 water instead of just 30. This is a huge reason why I prefer second gen over first, is I don't constantly have to go back for watering, even if I'm using the quote-unquote same tier of water pot. Also, I didn't mean to grab those, but, you know, I'm dumb and wasn't paying attention. It's fine, I guess. Planting time. Please deal with that. Thank you. Thank you, Kane. You're gonna be an upstanding citizen in no time. I want a lesson. Shields. This is what I want. This is what I really care about, is just not taking damage. What's the good? I'm just gonna read this in my normal voice because recently I haven't been able to do Barrett's voice as well. Bronze shield. You need a small shield. Pour, pound bronze into the body of the shield. Actually, you might need two pieces of bronze. Finally, add a piece of iron to toughen it up. Let's move on to the round shield. You'll have to make a bronze shield, just as I instructed. Next, begin working iron to the shield. Actually, you'll need another piece of iron. You should use silver for the shield's center. Apply a root to the back of the shield. You'll want to use some cheap cloth while you're at it. Any questions? The magic shield will be our last lesson of the day. Start with a small shield. Uh, there we go. Raise the shield's magic defense with some magic crystal. Work some speckled skin into the front of the shield, too. You'll need to run some plant stem along the edges. In the back of the shield, place cheap cloth. Finally, attach a strong string and you'll be done. Easy. Time to start playing. Okay. I mean, those are going to be the shields I use for now, so I'll do another one-handed swords. More small swords today. Let's start with the defender. I'm starting now, so listen up. Begin with a steel sword. You'll need silver when you reforge the blade. The defender is pretty wide, so use bronze, too. Use iron for the blade. You'll need a panther claw to make the guard. Last, you'll need a bullhorn to give some balance to the handle. After that, your defender will be good to go. Now you're gonna learn how to make a luck blade. The first thing you'll need be needing is a broadsword. You also need iron to reforge the blade. Then you should get gunpowder ready to go. Then, powder some scorpion pincher. Mix it with some panther claw. Mix it with some panther claw to give it a sturdy grip. Then just wrap it with some hood and you're done. What a hood, what a hood, what a hood. Eh? Now for a Gaia sword, a sword imbued with the power of the earth. First you'll be needing a steel sword. Start by reforging the blade. You'll need iron for that. Use some earth crystal too, it'll be tough so hit it hard. Since it's an earth sword, use a hard horn for the handle. Decorate the grip and the handle with root. Finally, use a magic powder to harness the power of earth. Next is a cutlass. It's the kind of sword pirates use. You'll need a defender, so make one ahead of time. Use gold to make the base. Next, you'll need a skull. It's not just for decoration. Then, you'll need one more skull. Use quality cloth on the grip. Be sure to wrap it tightly. Then, just use a strong string to make sure it's stable.
The last thing I'll teach you to make will be Gravios. First, you'll need to make a Smash Blade, because we've learned that. Use the silver to reforge the blade. Then use iron to toughen up the core. Use a giant's fingernail for the handle and the grip. You'll need to use Panther Claw too, don't forget. Then wrap the grip using Sparkle String and you'll be set. Done. I brought your lunch. Yeah, what did we get today? Today you're having Chinese manju. Yes! See you tomorrow. All this food. All this food! Alright. So we have the broadsword, the steel sword, the defender, which we could absolutely make right now. Hmm. The luck blade, which we could almost make now. The dragon slayer, the Gaia sword, the cutlass, the Durandel, and Gravios. I believe that is the stop of the one-handed blades that we can make right now. It's still really good. We won't be right now, but there are options. I lost I lost something in my house. Come and look help me look for it. There you are, Arya. I have something I wanted to ask you. Um, I seem to have lost the pin I borrowed from Lionel. I can't find the thing anywhere. He's a nice guy and probably wouldn't get mad about it, but I'm sure it'd make him sad if he found out I lost it. Will you help me look for it, Arya? Sure, where do you lose it? I think somewhere in my house. It could be somewhere with Mom's weapons or buried under my toys. But in any case, I can't find it at all. Will you help me look for it? Sure, I'll give the place a good looking over. Teleportation! I guess it's not in here. Is that what Roy's looking for? The pin. Yeah, we found it immediately. The pin. A snazzy looking pin. Some people like to collect them. Raises vitality a little. So, I mean... It's just a good defense item. Because it raises vitality and give defense, so... You know, this would be a good way to become beefy. You find the pin yet? I'm sure it's somewhere in my house. Press the A button to search anywhere you think you might be. Thanks. Hey, you found it. That's it. Boy, I sure owe you one, Arya. Here, have this in return. The raisin bread. Remember not to say anything to Leno. Anyway, see ya. Thanks, just remember not to tell Leno. For sure. Raisin bread. Bread sprinkles with dried raisins, soft with a sweet yet sour tang. It's worth money, so you can sell it or you can eat it. I'll hold on to it. Also, Chinese manju. Ingredients wrapped in a soft, plump skin, then steamed. Plenty, plenty to sink your teeth into. Worth some money, or you can eat it, like I'm going to. So you're going to want to save here, because we're going on to the boss battle. Boss battle! Wow, that thing is huge! So there's a lot of ways you can try to handle this. The Octopirate. This boss has an HP of around 1720. I say around because once again, no information online, this is all just from what I'm doing to be testing. He has a defense of 15. He has a weakness to earth element but also, weirdly, an even bigger weakness to water element. This seems unintentional, but it's exploitable, so use it. This boss can only be hit from the front and the sides. Hitting it from the rear will deal zero damage. To start off with the attack cycles, he has this basic movement, the dash attack, which will deal about 30 damage unmitigated. If you stand close to him, he can slap you, hitting you multiple times for 60 damage apiece, with a chance to stun. 
Should you be at a slight range, he can throw spike balls at you for 55 damage apiece. Sometimes, he'll throw an explosive barrel. He'll throw three of them at a time, in three waves in a row. He also has a spear attack that deals 55 damage, hits twice per stab, and will stab three times, also healing him for half the damage dealt. And finally, we have the ink attack, for 33 damage. This ink attack is only used post enrage mode, during which he will just move around the arena, doing his normal dash attack, and then shoot out clouds of ink whenever you're within range. It is much harder to hit him at this point. It would be recommended to save your magic for this point in the battle. The Octopirate's a tough one, but not unmanageable. So long as you learn his attack patterns, it isn't too bad. I would recommend right around level 15 with some kind of upgraded equipment. You've got this. I have faith in you. We'll see how we do. So he has that attack that we just showed off. He can also kind of just slink around the stage like he was just doing. So I don't believe you can hit him from behind, so you have to hit him front ways. So the idea is to hit him when he is doing that, and then dodge whatever attack he's using. So he uses a spear attack. He's using again. So you can hit it from the side, which is useful. And he just loves that spear attack, which lead him leaves him wide open to counterattack, though. Oh. And explosive barrels. Donkey King. I love the Dinky King. So yeah, zero if you hit him from behind. Also, don't let him hit you when he is doing that. Oh, he's enraged. Oh. Okay. Uh, don't do what I just did and get hit by all the smoke. Oh, I just realized time doesn't actually move during this. I forgot about that. Okay, so he keeps doing it until he's within range to attack you. Oh, you missed. Is that all you're gonna try to do? So it can stun you, and that's uh, not great. So you're. I'm just gonna. There we go, and done. I knew we could do it with our current equipment. Level up! Nice. Obtain the Bloomstone Tablet Fragment. Ooh, that was close. There's another stone tablet here. I wonder why these strong monsters always seem to have those stone tablets. Let's ask Barrett about it. Okay. Well, to home! <laughs> Mr. Barrett! We beat up another big monster. This time with just level 10 first level equipment. <laughs> first tier equipment. Uh, I found another piece of the tablet. Let me see it. Yes, this is just like the piece, the first piece you brought me. Were you able to figure out what the last one I brought said? I don't know yet, but Amanda's helping me decipher it. What? Mom's helping you? Don't worry, I've kept your secret. I told her I was the one who found it. Thank you. Be careful inside the dungeons. Yes, I will. It's proving difficult to decipher the writings of this tablet, but I like a good challenge. This tablet looks like it's only one part of the whole. I think there must be more pieces to find yet. Alright. Now, I'm gonna look up one thing, because I remember something vaguely. Now, as we've beaten that first one, I can actually upgrade my sword and not feel bad about it. 
Uh, the steel sword would upgrade into the defender, I think? Yeah. Okay, into Machina Valley. We're going to want to head all the way over here, and we're going to want to take on the bull that spawns here, the buffalo. And get that. Okay. That is exactly what I needed. And I got multiple. Wild. I defeated three buffalo. All three of them dropped horns. <laughs> now I believe these guys... Oh, they just dropped the roots. Never mind. I thought they could drop the plant stem. But no, they... Wow, okay. Super lucky. Everything drops everything. So now that we have a better hammer, it can get materials more easily. Take this level 3 iron, because we love you. One broadsword, two iron, and a bronze. Now, we were at, like, 35 attack before. Down to 18. So it does demote it down to, I think, the lowest material you're using. So if you're just using, like, level 10 everything, then you're good including your previous sword, but I was using a level 3 bronze or iron or something, I don't remember. Or might average it out, I don't remember how it is in this one. We're gonna use our steel sword, our bullhorn, our silver, our, our bronze, our iron, and finally, our panther claw. With a 64% chance of success. Now, the Defender, a sword created to be used with a shield, greatly improves chance of avoiding incoming attacks. 21 attack. This would raise our defense up uh, tremendously. So this actually raises our defense by a static 10 all by itself and gives us 21 more attack. It's pretty dang good. But it also works with the shield to raise it even higher. So yeah, we're already pretty buff, but that's not good enough. That's not good enough! That's not good enough! Now if we take two skulls, a quality cloth, a strong string, a gold, and that defender that we made, we can fail. We have a 55% chance of making the Cutlass. Skill increased. Now, the Cutlass will not give us the 10 defense that we normally get. But, a sword used by pirates and brigands long ago, now is worn like a good luck charm by sailors. 25 base attack. It's a good sword that upgrades into even better stuff. I'm fine with the drop in defense there to get to this. We currently cannot make the Durandal, which is what I want to make. We also don't have all the materials anyway, so that's fine. But, that means I can do this though. This upgrade with a 19% chance, and it only costs gold. And I say only because, you know, gold's good, but we can get it. Especially from Padova. Okay, I'm all the way down here to the bronze shield. We take our level 10 shield with two pieces of level 5 bronze and one piece of level 3 iron. Let's see what level of shield we get. we get level 5, which I guess would be the average of all the materials. So it is average, it's not... Okay, that's good. I like that. I like that a lot. So the defense isn't quite as... The defense isn't quite as good as our other one yet, but it'll get there. Okay, we have a 19% chance of this upgrade working. Let's try. And while I'm thinking about it, Let's try eating a raisin bread. See what it does. Success. Okay, that puts our forging close to 14. Also, I just realized we're almost level 21. From beating that boss, we got like a full level. Success. So, per level, we're getting three. So, yeah, about what you'd figure. We're pretty beefy, so let's do this. Get on Kane's back! So the hitbox for Kane seems to be the tail. Which is... Weird? <laughs> weird. Oh. 
Which should explain why when I turn around I get sucked through the doors. I like gold! And I got a platinum when I charged up, so maybe the charge really does do something, or maybe that was just random chance. Level 5 Platinum, a metal ore used to make weapons and accessories very rare and very hard to obtain. Level up. There we go. Little crystal, that's what I wanted. Skill up, and I beat that one. Wild. Yes! Fairy dust. Powder gathered from fairies. Glows at night. I'm out of inventory space. I'll drop this level 8 iron, because it doesn't fit with anything else. And I got more fairy dust. A different level this time. Level 1. Drop the level 5 bronze, it's fine. What do I care? I don't care! I need to use up some of these materials. So first things first, let's ship the level 1 fairy dust. I already read the description here. Anything else I'm gonna want to ship though? Next you'll be fighting 6 monsters, and the monsters will be a little tougher this time. Will you give it a try? Actually no, I need to clear out my inventory first. Cutlass. Skill up. Skill up. Forging level 15 thus far. Not bad, not bad. Bath time! 100 G for a uh, full heal, absolutely. Money, money. Next, you'll be fighting six monsters, and the monsters will be a little tougher this time. Will you give it a try? Yes. Don't your guard down. Celestia Island Monsters. I'm absolutely fine with this. Oh. Let me... Bye? Done. Three left. The halfway point. Done. All the monsters. Here's the reward I promised you. Magic book life drain. Magic book shine. Thank you. You must be tired from fighting. Be sure to get plenty of rest. No, I'm good. Who needs rest when I can power level? Life drain. Fires a bolt of darkness absorbing some of the damage caused. However, the book is badly damaged. And shine. Creates spinning bullets of light. However, the book is is badly damaged. So two new spells that we will drop down here with the rest of my spells and skills. 
Okay, so to end off our day, because we're, you know, nearing the end of the time we can do a lot of stuff. I don't remember quite where it is. It might be upstairs, though. This is a vague memory, so it might be... Over here? This right here? Oh, it's just you, Aria. Oh, Orland! What's this? That's something a guest left here. They left it here? That's what I said, isn't it? You can have it. What? Really? Nobody's gonna use it anyway. Father said to throw it out, so I doubt anyone will mind. Thanks, Orland! You got the music book? Striking March. Hmm. No need to thank me. It's nothing, really. Now, this by itself is a pretty decent thing. A rousing tune. Allied monsters will flash red and go on a rampage when they hear it. It's like a berserk effect, and it's pretty good by itself, but there's more to it than that. Partially because it unlocks something really good. Now, after having done that, if you head up here to the library, I'm, it's one of these ones. This one? Oh, what's this music book? You get the music book, Inquisitive Waltz. Oh wow, I got Inquisitive Waltz! It's okay to take it, it's my father's school after all. This is one of the best things in the game. Inquisitive Waltz, a measured piece. Allied monsters will search their surroundings and maybe find hidden items. So, you know how in previous games where you would spend a year trying to grow the Emery Flower or really any of the phantom crops. You can actually get those and a lot of other items purely from this right here. We will be abusing this in the future, and I guess I will go and show off one space that you can use it right now. Why not? Before we do that though, I'm going around collecting these now as I've been so full in inventory this entire time. Hey, it's Arya! Oh, is that you, Arya? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing? There are two books here that I'm interested in. Interesting books? Hmm, you like to read? Yeah, I think these are magic books. Magic books? In that case, you can take them. I... You, you can have them? I... That... Either this was supposed to be Arya, I don't know, man. Really? I'm sure you'll be able to use magic skillfully, Arya. Arya, you're so talented. Thank you, thank you, and thanks to the both of you. The cure and medication. You're welcome. Arya, are you leaving? So. We have a decent amount of spells now. Cure, as you might expect, is healing magic, restores HP, however, the book is badly damaged. And, medication, status ailment magic, cures poison, however, the book is badly damaged. Both of these we will upgrade tomorrow when we see our mom at school. So I've kind of filled up my inventory again. <laughs> Alright, now on to the Inquisitive Waltz. Alright. So we're in the spring clearing currently. Now, if we were to use this... Where is it? Inquisitive Waltz. I believe it's right around here. I did it! I got a black grass! So this here, it can give us a bunch of these. And I don't believe they auto-stack, though, is the issue. They do not, so I was about to actually be full when I tried to do the next one. And that's not very good, but... You know, it is 90 per black grass, so that's not bad as far as saving money goes. I was kind of hoping to get a good item, though. There we go, that's one of them. The Strawberry. There are a bunch of items 
and different locations that you can do. This is one of the locations, one of the two on this screen. This one can give all the junk items, such as healing herbs and uh, black grass and things. It can also give strawberry and lamp grass. You heard me right, lamp grass. <laughs> So, Strawberry is a good gift item, so that one's actually pretty good. Now, the other one, I believe, is right here. Yep. Antidote Herb. So, we're almost full, so we'll see how this goes. Kane decided no to what I wanted and ran up there as fast as possible. Orange Grass. I'm gonna give this a few more shots. It costs RP every time. There's nothing here. I should look somewhere else. It's because Kane wasn't with me. There we go. What? Oh, it's a level two. We're just gonna eat that. Om -an -om -an -om -an -om -an -om. Now, I don't know if it does, but I know it uses a communication skill, I just don't know if it levels it up. So it's in the middle of the V currently. Uh, maybe. Yeah, it actually does level up the communication skill when you use it. So if you're trying to power level it, this is something that would actually give you a benefit from using it, rather than just standing there. It does cost time, of course, but not that much. Um, there we go. Now, another area I want to show off is, I believe, right down here. I believe this is the mushroom? No, this is Windy Pass. I believe it's here. Yeah, this is the mushroom patch. So let's kill all the monsters on the screen. I'm not sure if this is a requirement, but it feels like it should be. So, real quick. Nope, there are monsters around. I should try again when it's safer. Okay, cool. Let's get rid of them. So it cures me, but it does not cure my pets that way. Oh, that's special concierto. I mess up a lot. Now I believe right up here. No. Here? No, I'm not. Not teleporting. So that means I'm not in the right spot. Just gonna have to look around and try to figure it out. Okay, here. Oh, poison powder. First time we've actually gotten that before. More poison powder, sure. Hopefully they're the same level. Of course they wouldn't be the same level. Why would they be? I'm full up on items currently. I'm gonna head home real quick and put a bunch of these away. Poison powder. Potent poisonous powder. Added weapons and sometimes armor. So, ship time. Shipping time. Success. Level up. Your skill up, rather. Forging level 16. Not bad, not bad. Healing time. Recovery potion. Alright, I need to actually do a bunch of mining. So I need to grab the energy that's in here. Try the cure spell. Not bad. Run up here. I 
A diamond, huh? I don't need diamonds, sadly. Upgrade. Skill up. 73% chance of success currently. Success. Okay. So our shield is now level 10. It has 13 defense. Cutlass upgrade. Skill up. And our cutlass is now level 10. Attack 52. So, yeah. I'd say doubling your attack from what our Platinum Hammer does and increasing your defense by like one and a half is pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. <laughs> one and a third, maybe? One and a third. Alright, back to mining. Alright guys, I'm actually going to cut things here. Uh, I'm just going to be going around doing my normal mining stuff, trying to get some resources to then craft with. So it'll be back and forth, back and forth, and honestly it doesn't really need to take up the hard drive space right now. Um, my current end of state, my current end of day stats are these. I'm almost level 22. I'm doing pretty good right now. I'm almost out of inventory space across the board, so I'll need to start using up a bunch of these resources. So one thing I'll probably do is I'll teleport home and plant these toy herbs, just for the sake of having toy herbs, I guess. I don't know, man. I, I don't know what exactly I'm going to do. We'll see, though. See you all next time, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.